I'm Steve Ballmer, founder of USA Facts. USA Facts is a nonpartisan, not-for-profit, civic initiative providing a numbers-driven portrait of our nation. Let's get to the facts. A lot of folks are very focused on the environment. People have divided viewpoints on what it takes to protect our environment or whether there's a threat at all, but at least let's take a look at some numbers. If you take a, a look at greenhouse gas emissions in this country, since 1990 or so, greenhouse gas emissions went up from 6.4 billion tons a year and has declined back to 6.5 billion tons. If this is an area of focus, there's some good news and bad news in that. Total energy consumption has gone up, which I think is an important part of economic health. And at the same time, you can see the admissions. It means our, our uh, current energy forms are more uh, efficient and better in the way in which they emit greenhouse gases. The energy consumption per person has come down from 344 million BTUs, as they call them, per year to 301. But our population's gone up. And as we think about energy consumption and what that produces into the environment, population growth is a factor. It's not just how well we use energy, how effectively we use energy, and that's impact on the environment. It's also a function of how many people not only live here, but elsewhere uh, in the world. If you ask what is producing the emissions that go into our environment, transportation, primarily people driving their cars, is number one, but you can see the trajectory. Electric power production, uh, this is actually the amount of energy use in the production, or the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that occur just from the power plants that generate these things, is number two. Uh, industrial uses, which means factories and plants. Uh, number three, you don't even see your own residential use outside of your cars appearing on this list. Doesn't mean for those people who are sensitive to these issues in the environment, that's unimportant, but there are some big nuts to crack uh, if your focus is on greenhouse gas emissions. Another important aspect of our energy policy in, in the way I think many people think about it is, is our country energy sufficient? Do we produce the energy we need? In case of some kind of cataclysm uh, in the world, can we take care of ourselves? And what we find is that situation has been improving. We now produce more petroleum products uh, than we import. We are flush on natural gas, and we've turned the tide in terms of producing enough crude oil uh, to support our needs, but of course we're still importing uh, more than we are uh, more than we are producing. Coal consumption has dropped 39 percent since its peak in 2005. Another issue which has been much discussed uh, and debated in the press. Visit usafacts.org to explore, to get the facts, and decide for yourself.